Well, hello and welcome to PM Personality Profile. My name is Nana Ansakwao the fourth. Well, I'm standing here in this modern laboratory because I'm going to talk to a scientist, but uh, it's the new laboratory that uh, St. Anthony is uh, boasting. St. Anthony. Now, why would I come to St. Anthony? Aha. Uh -huh. I am here to talk to the one and only Cheche Kule, as we have grown to affectionately known Uncle George. Now, his mom set up St. Anthony schools many, many years ago. And he's still part of the school, he's still an administrator. And after being on set for probably a decade and disappearing, I'm sure we all want to find out what is Uncle George up to and what's he doing. And that's why I'm here, to find out about the good old Uncle George. What has he been doing? What's he doing now? And what is he going to do? Stay tuned. When I come back, I'm speaking to a lovely, lovely TV uncle, Uncle George, who now wants to be known as Grunko, Grunko George Lane. Don't go away. Well, 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 this is the favorite part, the one and only Uncle George. Now, most of you must have grown up in Chechekule. Picked some morals, got some discipline, learned something new through Uncle George and his famous Chechekule. And yet most of us, apart from just seeing him on TV and disappearing, that's about it. In every interview, as I said, you know, sometimes you go in for, for some life experiences, for some life, you know, lifetime moments that can be shared. But this one is purely inquisitive. <laughs> this is purely inquisitive on my part, and I'm definitely no on your part too. Uncle John, let me say thank you so much for granting us this interview. Pleasure is mine. <laughs> Pleasure is always mine. But, but I want to start with, I mean, Cheche Kule, I mean, what, what language is Cheche Kule? Whose language is it? it it's, it's something, um, you know, Kofi Bakna of Blessed Memory and I used to talk about. With Kofi in it, we, we appropriated it that it must be Ghanaian. <laughs> you know? Because there's Kofi Salanga. I mean, Kofi. It even <laughs> sounds a bit like something from the north, the Salanga bit. Yeah. But it's now, it's now international. Wow. It's now international. You have you even have children in uh, 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 Jamaica, the West Indies, singing the Cheche Kule song and all that. We used to get letters from from that far saying that they had heard of the program. And so it's it's Ghanaian, but it's it's what the modern. It's gone viral or something. Yeah, like it's it. gone yes. <laughs> or it did. It went viral. So it's difficult to say whether it's it's from this part of Ghana or that part from where it is. But I mean, everybody just. I mean, yes. you sort of just grew up to hear it, and yes. then you just sing, you know. Yeah, I must make the point that it's something my mother told me, you know, my, my late mum used to say that they used to do some movements while they were singing it. So that's how old it is. Yeah, you know, it's you know it was just that. Jake and Fritz, I think, <coughs> when Cheche Kule was being born, that chose the name. Jake said he chose the name, and I, I don't have any cause to doubt it. Jake of Blessed oh, oh, yes, Jake, Jake. The only... The only the only Jake in Ghana, you know, <laughs> and um, good choice of name. And um, but it's, it's the, the, the the song has been there and the dance that goes with it for ages. Cheche Kule. Ages. 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 Then there's some movements that go with it. Movements that go with it. Okay, now let me go. <laughs> now I told you this is purely curiosity. Purely curiosity. So, I mean. Born in Accra, Cape Coast, Winnebar, Yeah, I, I, was, I was born in Accra. Okay. You know, um, my father was the first African dean of the Most Holy Trinity Cathedral on the high street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my mother was the founder of St. Anthony School. St. Anthony School. Where, where let let me say that we are sitting in St. Anthony. Yes, <laughs> you know, 57 year old school. Wow. I don't think you were around when it was founded. No, no, no not was quite it? yet. No, you know? I, was, I was still, I was still there. <laughs> yes, so I was I, yeah, born in Accra, grew up in Accra up to a certain level before um, one went off to the British Isles, as it were, for little schooling and that mm. kind of thing. But yeah, you know, born, born, 
and partially bred right here. You know, wow. We're Fantis, but grew up in Accra. And in fact, I'm sure I probably speak a little bit better than I do the Fanti, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Which I think is, 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 is another way that has brought Ghanaians together a bit, mm. you know, intermarriages and that kind of thing. So it's, 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 but yeah, I was born in Accra. Do a bit of mum, because uh, you know, little Bell tells me she was a disciplinarian. My mum. Yes. Oh yes. 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 What, what, what was the idea of setting up Saint Anthony? What mum told us was that, or as I fondly used to call her, Muzz. <laughs> you know, Muzz. Like somehow that was an endearment. Yeah. What uh, mum 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 said was that she dreamt that she was being told to do something with children. So she, she interpreted it as, you know, a school. And that she mentioned it to, you know, my father. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, when she started it in 62, in March, 9th of March to be wow. precise, he blessed it. He blessed it. But then he died in June. So even though she was the founder, there's no two ways about that. Mum was the genesis of all this. But what we also believe is that, you know, the old man, um, through Christ anyway, gave the school its blessing. blessing. Yes. And I remember I was, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm older than the school, obviously, okay. but, you know, young enough to have played with the pioneers, Mm -hmm. There's even a picture of me playing with them on the seesaw, so I should have brought it. Wow. And some other things, doing some coloring, you know, for the, for the, for the nursery department and, and stuff like that. And I'm sure my elder siblings too also uh, had a part to play. Hey, you know? So have you had, like, interaction with children? Your, you know, kiddie learning or being around children has been in you since that time then? See, I think it's, 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 the, it's, it's the parents. Apart from some part of it coming from one's genes, I suppose. But it's the parents, because my mother had this, um, um, something like, a, it was a mentoring club. And I'm, I'm trying to do something. I'll pick your brains about that a little bit later on, but I'm trying to do something. I've started something like that. And she called them the King's Messengers. Okay. I mean, where I was a member, you know. Um, there was a football team, a netball team. Um, she would sit us down, read the Bible, interpret it, and basically just talk about the do's and don'ts of life, how we should conduct our lives so that mm -hmm. we, we grow up to be responsible citizens. You know? Yes, she was, mum, 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 I'm so happy that in, these, in this day and age, when you say somebody, she was a disciplined person or she was a disciplinarian, it wasn't, it wasn't sort of some wild, Ex expression of discipline okay. but it was always in your interest to do what apart from it being the best to do what she's suggesting mm -hmm. and yeah I'll bet you are <laughs> see uh -huh. it wasn't too much beating or anything mm -hmm. like that or um, she, she was she was very good at she would be a bit quiet and that that really used to put us all off because that wasn't mum mum was mum was physically and emotionally soft. She was the type that you could cuddle and all that kind of thing. But um, I wouldn't have wanted to have had any other mother because somehow, you know, being a gift to her, she, she, she knew exactly how to manage each and every one of us. Dad didn't have too much time. He was, he was in the church. He was traveling to Israel, doing this, doing that. And, um, he, 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 he gave us other things. Mm -hmm. He gave us other things. He exposed us to other, you know, advantageous things. But did, mum did, was the one that would say, you know, there was this, mm -hmm. and I, I do that to my grandchildren. I was <laughs> doing it to my children. I do that to my, just that, mm -hmm. no, or a look. Oh, yeah. You know that, no, you, know, you, 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 you don't go there. Don't, don't go, go there, there at all. Did, did she actually run the school, mum? You know, my mum, mum did, mum played, every part that there was to be played in the school. The only part she didn't play was drive one of the buses. But she was a mate. When her first bus came, mum would be sitting at the, the door, the, step, the, door, the, the steps. In. 
They're helping the kids in. That too blew the parents' mind. Because here was the founder sitting in the bus and making sure that the kids got into the bus. Accounts, teaching, assembly, graduation, Founders Day. Come on, what didn't mum do in the school? You know, and I say, I, 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 I say it even up to now that uh, yeah, she's without her things. Okay, things, times have changed and all that, but without her, things are things are different. Maybe maybe not as as good as they should be. Mm. Things have changed, but that's the founder, mm -hmm. Nana. Yeah. That's the founder. She's the one that was talked to to do it. So she was getting all the directions and directives, you see. But we're, 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 we're desperately trying to follow in her, in her footsteps. Well, I think that's, like, you know, stood the test of time because uh, the, then there was St. Anthony and then the Datus. Yes. The, later on came Martin de Porres. Yes. I mean, this is oh, yes. in there. Yes, yes. You can imagine the number of people that have passed through this school, you know? Wow. From, and it's not only, we can't all, all be only doctors, engineers, and no, 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 no. no. no I mean, look, no. At, look, at, look at the crew here. Yeah. We need people to do this mm -hmm. important job. Yes. Exactly. So a whole load of, if I were trying to work it out the other day, and it must be more than, if you, if you include their families, it's probably about 100,000 people some sort of catchment, wow. having come here and then their families. And, yeah. and you know, I'll tell you an interesting uh, thing, Nana. Mm -hmm. Some of the children that were here mm -hmm. and left have got married, had kids, and they brought them right back. Wow. <laughs> brought them right back, pointing out to the children, this used to be my classroom. This, this is where we used to play, that kind of thing. So, um, yes, I think things are, things are becoming to, beginning to um, be more and more like how it was. Even though I also believe that nothing lasts forever, mm -hmm. except the deity, of isn't course, it? I mean, course, come on. Of course. We of all, course. we all. It's, 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 it's a pattern. Mm -hmm. Yes. One day we shall all leave. Yeah. Uh, one day we shall all yeah. leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We shall all leave. How, how many siblings are you? Um, four um, females and then two, 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 two boys. Okay. Unfortunately, we've lost my elder brother. Okay. And he was he was an international. Poet. He wrote. He wrote books and things like that. He would go abroad, and his name was even down for to be considered for the Booker Prize and things like that. Okay. So he was. Um, he was. He was. He was different mm. in his writing. Okay. You know, he, he was completely different. And then four um, lovely sisters. You know. Everyone involved in school. Um, except one, who is okay. who who went into the medical field. Okay. Sister Jane. Or okay. Stacy, as we call her, <laughs> but uh, Stamama, Stabertha, um, and then uh, Betty. You know, she's she's. I'm just after her, so she's not quite old enough for me to call her sister Betty. <laughs> you know, I refuse. <laughs> Betty, Betty is. You know, she's the current uh, CEO of the of, 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 okay. of the school, okay. or okay. of the company that owns the school. Okay. Well, so you you did research. Yes. And then from research to Scotland. Yes. What, to what, England before Scotland. To England yes, before Scotland. Yes, for a little Scotland. time. But school in Scotland. Yes. Yes. What, what was your first culture shock, if there was any? Seeing white people cleaning the streets, carrying my suitcase that, you know, had a, some clothes in, opening the doors at the airport, and that kind of thing. Fortunately, because of the Ridge experience, um, we weren't shy of white people mm. or Caucasians, mm. Europeans. Yeah. In fact, it was only um, uh, when we were at Ridge, there was one Ghanaian teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, she became the um, headmistress. I've, I've forgotten her name now, but Osayado. Oh, okay. I'm glad I remembered. <laughs> you know. But apart from that, all the teachers were, 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 were English. Were English. Mm -hmm. you know, that's why I learned to sew a, a button on a shirt, do a bit of embroidery, and some other things. Mm -hmm. Storytelling, used to love it. In school, you used to gather around oh. and tell stories? And we had this rather 
plump lady, Mrs. Davis. She would take us for singing. Okay. And honestly, the love and things they showed to us, it was, it was, it, it was, it was fantastic. It really was. I think that, that, that started something. Yes, we had storytelling too in the house and all that. My mother was a, she could tell you a really mean story, you know. <laughs> Always with the moral at the end. You can't, ex you, you can't escape that with mum. Is it? <laughs> this and that and that happened so that you will learn this and that and that and this and this and that. You, you, it's definitely in you then. Is it? I, think, I think we are now getting where Uncle George came from. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're getting where Uncle George yes. came from. Part is the genes, yes, and then an interest, an interest. Mm -hmm. There was this elderly woman who came to the school and at a distance, this was when the school was also at Late Biokoshi. Okay. We, we, we moved to this site yeah. at South mm -hmm. of Doko. And she was half in tears and half laughing. My mother was, you know, alive then. What is it, I said, have I seen, and I was little George, because on my father's ju junior, you know, George H.M. Mm -hmm. Ferguson Lane, like he was. Look at George, little George, playing with the children, just like my father was called Georgie. They were good friends. Okay. Georgie used to play with the children. So that it's, in, it's partially in the genes, but mm. I think it's also partially in the genes that the interest too was there mm -hmm. to take these. Because look, children, you know, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, Father, and all that kind of thing. But so far as I was concerned, the children were the stars. They brought the best out of you. You look into... You see, I'm, I'm quite emotional. Mm -hmm. I remember we went to uh, Cape Coast uh, University, mm -hmm. and there was this... In fact, he looked like... I don't know, he looked like a prince. Very... He, he stood like this with his hair a bit bushy, and he started playing the the piano, it was part of the segment of the show. Mm -hmm. They had to wait for about 45 minutes because I couldn't stop crying. Oh dear. And it wasn't because I was sad. I was filled with joy. Do you experience that? Because I believe that crying is probably the ultimate expression of emotion. Yeah. Both positively and negatively, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I couldn't, it's like when I went to Mrs. Francois school at uh, New Horizon as well, have a, a little link with them too, used to feature them on Cheche Kule. <clears throat> and she was telling me, pardon me, she was telling me how she started the school and it was her daughter and oh, Chale. Besham. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> but with her, it was, I felt sorry for mm. her. There wasn't too much joy there because mm. her daughter, not knowing that the daughter was going to be the way she was so that Mrs. Francois oh, Yame, would set up the school because children like her daughter didn't have anywhere else to go. They were chained. In our time, they were chained. Some of these children, uh, uh, you know, with uh, uh, mentally, those days, handicapped many, and this and all that kind of. Yeah. They'll be chained in a room. I'm telling you. Wow. I, I don't want to mention names yeah. and things like yeah. that, but I knew of a house where someone was chained in the room just because they were different not allowed to interact yeah. with the rest of the of, 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 of the children mm -hmm. so children and one has grown up it, it's even now you, you look into a child's eyes and well you see that the innocence and and then you see to the the chance of them getting to know another way of life that you 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 you, you can be cool you can you can be good, mm -hmm. you, can, you can be um, considerate, you can show love. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to do things this way all the time. At least they'll have the choice so that they, they themselves at the appropriate time will decide you know, which, which, which path they, 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 they would want to follow. Now, it, it said that uh, you know, the doctors don't heal themselves, Lawyers don't, you know, handle their own cases and carpenters normally don't have chairs in their rooms. Now, since you are everybody's father, has it robbed you of being a father to your own because you're too busy fathering the whole Ghana? Did it affect them a bit? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. 
it was latterly when, again, I'll mention his name, Kofi mm -hmm. Bakna. Kofi mm -hmm. and I were traveling all around Ghana, that may be. But when we were doing it in Accra, you go ahead and you come back. You do it and then you come back. And of course, they, they, they may be, well, not maybe, they definitely knew Daddy a little better. Mm -hmm. Sometimes on television, the, 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 the thing is that, oh, he's a, yeah, I'm a fun guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, as a child, I could twist my father's nose, play with his silky hair, mm -hmm. attack him from behind and all that kind mm -hmm. of thing. You see, but uh, I think they also knew that, I think I also got that for a bit from my mum, was that, Mm-hmm. Uh, See, that's, but that's the line. Don't cross it. But a whole load of love. Basically, I used to tell them too that you can say whatever you want to say. It's not what you say, but it's how you say it. Yeah. So that that some sometimes that that came up and bit me right on my, you know, <laughs> on, on the tip of my nose because, well, you're being told something in such a nice way that you can't really, you know, that kind of thing. You've sown the seed yeah. and now you're, you're yeah. reaping the, yeah. you know, the, yeah. the, the, yeah. the, the, the benefits. But, yeah, that, that, that's, that, that's, I didn't, I don't think I starved them of love or anything other than that. I was busy somewhere else all the time and all, no. Well, I'm going to take a quick break here and when I come back, I want to find out how did Che Che Kule start? What, what, what all ah. was the genesis? of this great Cheche Kule that changed and formed many lives. Don't go. Well, thank you very much for staying. I'm sure this is the question you've all been waiting for me to ask. I'm sure everybody, including myself, curious, just to find out what birthed Cheche Kule, how did it start, where did it come from? That's an interesting question. And I'm, I'm, I've never been shy about saying the facts. Mm. Um, I was working in my mother's school, right? I was in admin when one returned from abroad and all that. And round about the same time, Blue Band, if, if, if I may mention their name, <laughs> came out with an advert. And the import of the advert was that if you eat Blue Band, or if you sp spread Blue Band on your bread, your child would be bright. And I've forgotten, was it, was it Achampong? I've forgotten who was in power. They took them to task. That, that's something like that. That's, that's it's not accurate. That's, it's not accurate. So Lintas then had to sort of regroup and think of a way of coming out to, to wipe away that slur that they themselves produced and to let the government know that they accept the mistake that they made and this is the new path. And one of the things was that they were looking for a, a male to host a children's program. Before that, the understanding was that it's only females that are close to mm -hmm. children, which is, which is not true. Yes, if you have both parents close to the child, I think that's the best. So Fritz came over to the school and said that this and that and that and this. And Good old Fritz Baffo. Oh, Fritz Baffo. <laughs> uh, we, we, we went to Ridge. Oh, so you and go back. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, known, him, and he's known him for, for, for years and years and years. And that this was the case and that could he use some of the children in the school. And that incidentally, the way I was doing with the children, w w would, I, would I consider coming to the studio and coming to host the program or something like that. And you know, he has this, he has this way. It's as if he's asking you, but he's assumed you've accepted and he's ready to go. You know, he's always been like that. So I said, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? So I remember the first Cheche Kule was a disaster. Oh dear. We got there at about, maybe I shouldn't say it, but Oh, we, <laughs> we got there late afternoon uh -huh. and 7.30 p.m. we still hadn't started to shoot. Oh dear. And the children were in the studio like this. So what I did was, I don't even know where I got there. I think that's where the love and concern too comes. I didn't abuse everybody, but I told everybody off. I think that's the proper way to say uh -huh. it. How dare you keep children here for such a long time? 
this and that. Don't you see the no refreshment? This, that, 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 that. Come on, kids, let's let's go back to the school. Of course, you can imagine too. At that time, parents were at the school. Where are where are the kids? Here's this trailblazer of a uh, program coming on, and yet they go in the afternoon and 7:30 or 8, whatever it was. They still were not back. So I knew then that I thought I knew. That was the end of it. Nobody was coming to call me back to come and do any program because I told the producer off from the producer to whoever, all of them, they should all get out. That's not the way to treat children. And I couldn't even find my way out afterwards. It was one of them that had to show me the way out to the bus and all that kind of thing. Much to my surprise, Fritz comes again, apologizes and said, I'm still needed. Such, are you sure? Because I, I was. Have they, have they told you what happened yesterday? <laughs> yes. Oh, he was there. Oh, okay. Jake, too. Oh, they, they all got it. They all got it. I see. No, the children are the focal point. Mm. It's not about us adults. Yeah. You take children there. As I say, I won't go on too much. It was a mistake. Mm -hmm. They didn't quite know how things were going to go. So that 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 that, that was how Cheche Kuli started. So it was Jake, the late Jake, and Fritz Barfo, who were then um, linked with um, Lintas. That time, Jake was the boss at Lintas. Lintas yes, yes. Mm. The marketing guru, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yes. Yes, that's the, the first one. The first marketing guru in, 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 in Ghana, without doubt. So that, that's, how, that's how it started. And people found it a little weird because, well, a male with children. And I, I loved that idea too because it reminded me of my father, who was close to children. Yes, mm -hmm. so right from the get-go, I knew that it's when both parents are involved. Mm -hmm. Look, normally speaking, yeah. even though I'm sure it doesn't apply in this day and age, males were better educated than females yeah. in the past. Yeah. In the past, oh, in the past. <laughs> Before they come now, 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 it, it, oh, they, now they're, they're doing so well. Tables have turned. <laughs> see. So basically, what you were doing was that you, you and I, in those, we were leaving our children with the parent that gave them less. Hmm. Daddy mm -hmm. wasn't around for his input. So if there any any father watching and all that, get your input there to balance the whole thing so that they get a viewpoint, a female viewpoint from their mother, mm -hmm. then a male viewpoint from their father. There's, 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 balance. There's, 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 there's more balance there. So I loved the idea of, ah, to be able to do some of um, my father's, the way my father treated us, mm. to be an opportunity for me to treat children too like that. So, and I knew that that would be good for the children. Mm. So there's an interest there too about, you know, apart from loving the lights, you know, you go to the studio, there's a smell there and um, a light gets a bit hot. Yeah. And, oh, <laughs> I, loved, I loved all that. What, was it an that. instant hit, Sijekule? Or did it take time for people to buy it? Um, do I even know? I, 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 I was just doing it. I didn't have in mind that I wanted to be popular, I wanted to be this, I wanted to be that. I, it wasn't, but I'll tell you this, and the real figure, we always, we always turn the figure around so that it doesn't seem as if we're doing something too much. Mm -hmm. But we were, getting, we were getting letters from Togo, Benin, and sometimes Nigeria. Apparently, the atmospheric conditions, sometimes, you could, you could see programs here, yeah, there, and things yeah, like that. Yeah, I think you, used to get time, four, you could go further. 4,000 letters a month. Really? I mean, where are these guys? They, remember, we used, we used to read them and sort them out. 4,000 letters a month. Whoa. And then, of course, I had this crazy brainwave of talking about um, mosquito kebabs and fried cockroaches and things like that. I don't know whether you came to meet it. <laughs> I forgot. Ni, 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 Ni Ama, is that his name? He used to be with um, City FM. Okay. He was one of the people that started City FM. And as a child, he reminded me, as a child, he actually fried cockroaches, put them in the envelope. And I remember I showed it on TV. 
<laughs> now, I, I pointed it out to them that they're not edible, you know, and, and the, the, the recipe for the uh, mosquito kebab was that you'd attach the mosquitoes to a broomstick, you know, light your fire and then stand on your left leg whilst <laughs> you're <laughs> <laughs> you know. Sometimes people say, oh yeah, I thought this. Couldn't be on the right leg. No, no, the right leg affects the taste of the mosquito kebab. Just something, something, something crazy, something interesting. But yes, I'd get a few mosquitoes in an envelope sent to me and once or twice. But 4,000, 4,000 letters. Wow. Wow. Then people write, Uncle George, so disappointed, you never read my letter. So I was always apologizing for not reading the children's letters okay. and then you can imagine with that too they've watched pro the, 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 the program the possibilities are they'll ask mommy or daddy uncle George says that we should write a letter so immediately mommy or daddy or big sis or big brother is involved the family is gelling B yeah okay you go and write the first one and then come and show it to me yeah. can, can, can you see, see the synergy there yeah, yeah. so I used to that, I that was probably, apart from watching the children singing and dancing, was probably one of my favorite parts of it as well. Oh, but see, Uncle George, you see, uh, 4,000 a month is huge because even today where people can just send WhatsApp and mm. text, you know, within mm. a second, mm. uh, if you get 4,000 WhatsApp a month, I mean, you are oh, I'll, I'll, big, put, I'll, I'll put it off. <laughs> you know. So to get 4,000 letters a month, I mean, that's... Oh, it was, it was huge. A little sack, two sacks. They come and they pour it all out there. You could do a whole show on just reading back letters. Completely. Yeah, you could do a whole show just reading back Completely. letters. Completely. And of course, during the letter reading, as we said, letter read, correspondence, I used to call it something or other, mm. you would also correct a little English here, um, make a comment about what somebody has said, present your point of view, mm -hmm and that kind of thing. So that was a continuation of what they had done in the house. So it looked as if the whole thing was an exercise in appreciating the family, yeah. the nuclear family, the nuclear family, mm -hmm. and the extended family, because we're all, fa we're all family members. We're all, you know, <laughs> exactly. The how, how cohesive we could be, or we can be, once we get together. I always ask a silly question, so I think I have to ask you one. Well, the uh, chance is that you'll get a silly answer. <laughs> <laughs> Carry do, do, on. Do, do you think you are too emotionally involved in the program? That's the way I am. Because I'm not. You, I, I don't see you talking about the commercial aspect, the popularity aspect. Oh, it's just geez. the emotional connection. Listen, you're a film You see what I'm saying? Mm. No, I, 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 I. I it's not, it's not. It's these days. It, 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 it's like when we were kids, footballers, they were getting chances to play abroad and earn thousands of pounds sterling or whatever it was, but they weren't interested in that. To stay in Ghana, because somebody looks at it, excuse me, you're a fool, or you, you've got the chance to go and do this and that. You're, you're doing. It wasn't about that. It wasn't about that. It wasn't about that at all. Mm. And I remember um, in the middle of all this, Sponsorship stopped because a little problem with the sponsors and all that. And um, GBC took it over. And if my memory serves me right, they were giving, is it 90 pesos a program? Wow. I think something like that. It was... Under one CD? Oh, yes. <laughs> and, and, and again, hello, hello. <laughs> um, you would have to wait a little bit before you, you got it. So what I'll do is that I'd, I'd, I would... I was, gain, I was gainfully employed with my mum. So I would keep it for five weeks and then collect it and then with the crew go and sit at GBC um, clubhouse and have a few Fantas that's all we had <laughs> yes you know a few Fantas and of course mosquito kebabs so it was Grill, it grilled was, on the left leg exactly <laughs> it was the money was it, no no and even when it came to Latterly, when it came to negotiating for money and things, and uh, Kofi would go and do it. Kofi was good at that. Kofi would get, Kofi would get more money for me than I would get for myself. 
Mm. Mm. He, 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 he knew the ins and outs of all that kind of thing. What, I mean, what are some of your feelings or expressions it's like you meet someone who grew up on the show or picked something up on the show and today is probably a doctor or an accountant approach you and say, hey, I learned this from you. Yes. Um, yeah, you feel, you, feel, you feel good. But you see, I, I know and believe that everything comes from our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. as, as my, um, my, my church, uh, um, what do you call it? My, the pastor in a, a school I went, you know, not, not to be a pastor, but I wanted to f know a bit more about the religion and all that. You know, he, he gives us that, he used to say, he'll give you the unction to function. Mm -hmm. So if I start thinking that, like, Charlie, George, you know, I'm the guy, man, what's up? You know, all that kind of thing. It's not me. Mm. I don't even know the day I was born, <laughs> what happened. Yeah. And hopefully, I wouldn't even know when I'm going to die. Before you know it, it it's, you've been, you know, you're in another world. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the baby that is being born? Must go through hell. The comfort of the mother's stomach, being fed without opening its mouth, the growth there, hearing the mother's heartbeat, hearing the mother's voice, hopefully not too often anyway, maybe hearing mommy cry <laughs> once or twice. And then suddenly he finds himself in the world. He thought he was going to die. So maybe death too is like that. He's just being transformed, transferred into, 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 another, into another world. So as for... Yeah, you, oh, it's nice. <laughs> oh, good. I like when you said, oh, very good, very good. I'm glad you listened to it. You know, it's like going to a class and this mentoring thing that I was telling you about. You do something and then you're going out and they say, thank you, Uncle George, even though now I insist on Grunkle George because I'm a grandfather now. Six? Yes, yeah, six. Three, three, there's uh, um, Stacy, mm -hmm. Naya and Aja in America. And then here I have three children from my third son, um, Iroquois. Um, I call her Kiki. Mensma mm -hmm. Mimi. Minushka. You know, <laughs> all kinds of names. And then of course Diga, which is um, Atu, the last, the, 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 the last one. Now you've taken my, what were we talking about? I'm, oh, suddenly I'm, I can no, just see. I want, I want to stay on the grand, grand, <laughs> grandchildren before we go anywhere. Yes. Uh, you must be a real funky grandpa to I mean, you must be a funky grandpa. I'm the funkiest grandpa. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, there, I hope there are a few of us. Maybe, maybe that's what we should do. Any, any funky grandpa around, Jale, just, just contact this, this amazing host here. Let's get together and we'll all meet and show them how funky we really are, okay? No, I mean, come on. We, we, we're, we're passing through. Um, there's no time to get to. Okay, so going back, we're talking about grand, grand uncle or granduncle. 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 Yeah, moving from uncle to grand, you know, granduncle. Yes. Yeah, I think I think. Yes. I agree with that. Yes. Granduncle George. Yes. I agree yes. with that. And I, in fact, I'm a great granduncle because my elder sister Stamama's daughter mm -hmm. is a grandmother. Okay. So, so then definitely, yeah. I'm, 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 a, I'm a great grand. I'm a Definitely Grunkle. Yes. Definitely Grunkle. Yes. Certified. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Certified Grunkle. I yes. want to take a break and then when I come back, I want to find out what next. Uh, do we, you know, is Cheche Kule going to come back? And if it is, in what format? And, you know, what's up for Grunkle? Don't go away. <laughs> well, thank you very much for staying. And this has been a very curious interview and a very interesting one. And I'm still here Thank with Granko George, certified, you got it. You got certified, <laughs> Granko George. So, Granko George, what's what's next? You still you still you still involved in Saint Anthony? Oh yes, still very much involved. Yes. yes. Let me say I like your new science lab. So, hey, if you are within the Dansuman Accra catchment area and you're looking for a professional, proper science lab for your child to study, Saint Anthony. Yes. You don't, don't go away from that. Very good, very good. It's something we're very, very proud of. And, you know, um, <laughs> it's as if if you give in life, you get. Mm. I mean, this science lab, 
I don't know whether one is allowed to mention names and things like that, but go ahead. It's it's it, it's been built by a foundation which has the Imperial Homes as something like the parent company, mm. and um, the CEO of Imperial Homes' uh, brother came here, okay. and he he's 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 gone now. He wasn't he wasn't too strong as a person, but. Um, Therefore, he had some medical issues, but I don't, I don't know how my mother also did that. It was as if, even if your child had Down syndrome and they came to St. Anthony's, I think it's the love. Somehow, they would lose whatever it is that was. And I think Ebo mm -hmm. fell into that category. Mm -hmm. and. Um, we just live just down the road from there. And I think the, the brother, Francis, great guy, you know, <laughs> appreciated this so well that part of the foundation work, you know, the chairperson of the foundation is some interesting guy called Nana. Nana. <laughs> if I've forgotten his name. Um, put this thing up and you must come back again. Yeah. You must come back again. It's something else. Hmm. From the foundation to the... Oh, I, think, I don't I want think, to get too emotional see, I think, talking I, about I think, it. I think it's, it's, it's a good, good, good It's purpose. fantastic. But are we, are we going to see you back on screen again? Che, che, kole. You know something? I don't want to be back on the screen. What I believe in is that there was a time, there's a time for everything. Hmm. Before the show, we were discussing it. There's mm -hmm. a time to sow. There's a time to well clear the land, make sure there's a time to sow, and then there's a time to harvest. What I would love, what I would love, is for a competition to be held. Now I've been saying this for ages, but obviously nobody, nobody <laughs> seems to be interested. The, the playing field has changed. Is for two kitty boobs. Or a kiddie boob and a kiddie bab, right? People in the uh, primary. Um, and then two JHS, the Nyaka Poops and Nyaka Pips, you know, sort of teenagers. There would be a competition to choose two hosts each from these segments, and they would host the program. Yeah, we would be in the background directing them here and all that. And I'm sure you, 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 you know, Grunkle George would be there, I'm sure. Uh, 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 then Nana I'm talking about too would, would, would be quite helpful in that. So that after a few years, when those children grow, then another lot just comes in. The idea is to put the focus to create a vehicle for children's viewpoints to be heard in the country. Because I've been told this by lots of fathers that they grew up in a house. Hey, 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 you're four. What are you doing there? Keep quiet. When visitors come, they are kept away. In our house, when visitors came, that's when we were at our naughtiest. <laughs> we'll be there with them. We'll be talking. Of course, they were family friends and all that kind of thing. But there wasn't this thing about children should be seen and not heard. Can you imagine? It's like telling them to stop running. You know, my little guy, he'll be running and say, stop running. I'm not running, grandee. <laughs> grandee, that's the grandfather. And he's busy running, but he says he's not running. So if one can get these children, and we would, we, the, the, the sponsors will have to pay their, their fees and things like that to the highest. The idea is to, is to let the children have access to the highest authority. We've had heads of states and things like that on our program, ministers. There's nowhere we go and ask that we want to go on a visit that will say that, no, 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 we don't want the children there. I don't quite see that now. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. It's as if the children, they're again in the background a bit. Yes, you see a few children's programs there. In fact, some of them are even just complete segments from Cheche Kule, which which I also think is good, because spread the love. 
you can't you can't you can't have monopoly over have monopoly over what if you truly love the children then if you're doing it somebody else is doing it bringing children to the foreground letting them improve on their speaking in um, public public speaking um, getting their spelling right giving them confidence to to carry out their god-giving talent then it's something that should outlive me it should outlive me it's a difficult question before i let you go now you see they've always said the good old days your mom would say you know their days were better you are saying your days are better everybody's saying their days are better i mean were the good old days truly better i mean were the good old days truly good in some ways you see there was some simplicity but things seem to be getting really complex now very very complex look even the philosophy of this school is take good things from the past take good things from the present and right. put them together and merge them yes so yes state of the art lab science lab our computer lab too isn't bad at all you know we've got our com computers there it's on, on the net and this and all that kind of thing and yet we play I don't know whether you know you, you remember that those games that we used to, we used to play as children passing the passing the stone are we are we are we we play it in the school we do hopscotch the girls ampe or worry why why should we lose track of things just because they are old or they were done at a certain time and the japanese are the greatest example of this they're so japanese it's not true hanging on to everything that's theirs what and yet they're one of the most modern countries in the world love ghana to be like this love ghana to be like that take what is good from any time any epoch and merge them as you said so uh, for instance if you take in the in the olden days i'm sure there were unfortunately there were you know this um, raping of children and this and in the olden days i'm sure it was it's happening it's nothing new it's just that it was swept under the carpet mm. or put under the terrazzo or whatever they were doing in those days it's good that in this day and age if you do that kind of thing you 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 going to get it mm -hmm. uh -huh. so well if that was happening then and it's still happening now and it's being highlighted and hopefully it's coming down then it's good yeah. but definitely there's some very very negative um uh, aspects of the old days it's not good old days but there was some innocence and simplicity so as if everybody knew his or her place mm. so things sort of moved a bit quicker or something like that but now you can't even tell somebody who is younger than your youngest child anything <laughs> they lather abuse you and you get a dirty great big thumb in your face or whatever it is and it's as if something something doesn't gel somewhere <laughs> something that and i hope it doesn't get worse that's what i hope Well, you've been around kids. You've shaped kids. You've formed kids, and so I can't let you go without looking into your camera and speaking to you know kindergarten teachers, forming new children. A thing or two. It's an experience that you shared. Maybe give love instead of discipline or instead of the cane. I don't know. You, you're the expert. Um, it's it's very interesting that you 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 should say that. But look, the basis of everything is love. and consideration you see teachers of youngsters and children have to realize that they have to give the children an opportunity to know another way of doing things otherwise they become sort of uh, uh, not blindfolded but blinkered mm. if it's this direction they're looking in then it's that's the direction mm. that they're looking in and an aspect of the good old days was that it was as if the quality of teachers and teaching 
even though they were not as qualified as present day teachers, in some cases their English was 10, 10 times better then. And there was this thing about some basic love, knowing that this child, these children, future depends on how I talk to them, how I relate to them, how I, how, how, how I teach them. How I, look, I learned about um, um, rainfall in a classroom just before one left for abroad and all that. Through, we were asked to bring, some were asked to bring rice and some were asked to bring yam to school. So, yam rice to school? So it's a coal pot fire, that's the sun, a pot with water in, water bodies. So of course the yam was in there and it's, it's boiling and you see the, the pan sometimes, the, 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 the froth raises the pan and so on. So he picks it up and that is, that's the atmosphere. When you raise it up to a certain height, you can see the droplets going back into, into the pot. You see, so it was a question of choosing that teaching and learning material to impart knowledge. And I remember it up to now. Practicals, practicals, practicals. That's the way out. Uncle George, unfortunately, that's all time would allow us. I wish I had three hours to sit here and just soak and soak and absorb. That's a good one. Oh, that was a good one. Time. I know you enjoyed it. I always give you I the really number. Enjoyed it. I the number really is 024 366 2001. Thank you very much. 024 That's Dantes. They give me my shirts for the show, so give them a call and get yourself a shirt. That was the good old Grand Cool George. Ha, huh. we'll come back and talk about uh, contemporary children. I think we'll come back and just do contemporary children, children of the modern days. But until I come to you with another beautiful host, have a beautiful, beautiful week. Thank you for watching.